Let's do it. Top of the morning, this is a Diabetes Ninja. You're probably tired of uh, hearing that intro. Um, we are, uh, of course, playing Urban Chaos Riot Response. Um, today we're going to be uh, running through another level. Um, we're going to be uh, playing on uh, Webster Street. Uh, we're going to be pursuing the 100% uh, uh, of the level, and hopefully we can achieve that lofty goal. Um, I usually don't have much difficulty with this level. It's still like real manageable at this stage of the game. But uh, yeah, as I've talked about before, I really like this game. Um, it's uh, probably my favorite first-person shooter game. Oh. I uh, do wish that they would make a sequel for it. Um, they probably are not going to because the uh, company that made it, Rocksteady, they, uh, of course, have gone on to uh, more lucrative things. They did the uh, Arkham... Uh, they're responsible for the Arkham series of games of the Batman series, and uh, they are uh, currently working on the next Superman game. So, uh, congratulations to them. Um, that makes me sad that they're probably not ever going to make an Urban Cast Right response to, but the game was pretty underappreciated. It uh, came out at a time whenever there were a lot of different options in 2006, and most people had moved on from this generation of systems, actually. I made a mistake. You're not really supposed to just run mouth first into those bullets. Um, but I do everything wrong. I repeat, I need medical assistance. On my way. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> now we don't need medical assistance anymore. Don't worry. <laughs> Save the taxpayers some money. I'm just kidding. You that's, that's, that's good. Sorry for the bad aim. Nothing you could do. You really couldn't have saved. Damn it. Dead Mason. Listen. Yeah, he is dead. I need a we minute here. You go on. See if you can find a route into the building. I won't be long. I'm ready. Yes, sir. We are ready. All right, we cannot do anything to make this part go any faster. He will just arrive whenever he wants to. And so we're just going to wait around. Think about how that uh, is shaped vaguely like the Fighting Vipers logo. Um, what a complete. And here's a guy. He's going to tell us about how we need a thermal breather. Listen up. It's real smoky in yep, I need backup for my crew on the goddamn roof. Also, NSFW, I apologize for anybody who is attempting to watch this at work and then their boss gets near full of We're gonna fuck this city. Sorry about that. These guys are terrorists though, you know what I'm seeing? Like terrorists, they they know how to act. Uh sorry if I said anything to offend terrorists. I'm sorry. That's that was rude of me earlier whenever I was Assassinating your character, but you shouldn't terrorize. It's rude. All right, he's gonna explain to us about backdraft doors. This is a backdraft door. Next time I hit it, air rushes into the room and it ignites, creating a huge explosion of flames. I saw one of these things turn a guy to ashes once. So look out and use your shield to protect yourself. I'm coming. That's all. No problem. Done. Fucking pain.
So uh, I personally uh, find that headshots for me are a quicker way through the game, and uh, I know the prefix uh, purposely will just like unload half a clip into everybody's body instead. Um, I haven't had the time to investigate the science behind which one of those two things is faster. But as time goes on and I get a little bit better at the game, I'm going to investigate this phenomenon further and try to get to the bottom of it so that way I can play more optimal and do right by the game. But I know that at this point in time, it is faster for me. It's faster feeling for me to go for headshots. Um, it, of course, is not faster in most instances to do the non-lethal. Um, so I know that uh, past a certain point, um, uh, I wonder if it uh, turned... Yeah. Whenever he, I accidentally re-triggered that by doing an in-game prompt. Uh, so yeah, whenever uh, playing this game for seed purposes, you definitely want to get rid of the uh, slow down in the cutscenes. I guess one of the things that I just learned right there is that whenever you turn them off, but then you do the rotate your uh, stick 720 so that the next one is cinematic, it just disables the hey, disable. We gotta stop meeting like this. Okay, listen up. We know you need help. No problem. Here you go. Hey, Doug. You were right about Yep. Hey, so in this part of the game, you have to uh, search for uh, folks who are trapped in the building. There are three of them, and we already know where they're at. See, what's funny, this is an example of that uh, procedural generator thing where they wouldn't give me this guy until I'd walked away from there. One of the funny little nuances, it, like I said, whenever you uh, pick one of the branching paths, they'll just auto-populate wherever you're not standing with a guy. And sometimes it's not even a branch. Sometimes it just will give you an array. This time he's only going to hit it, I think, once before it breaks open. Backdraft! Nope, out. twice. Backdraft door. Did the guy come out? No, not at I'm this coming. point. Alright. I'm trying to remember. No, we want that one second. I, need help here. I apologize if it's uh, hard to see everything. It's hard to see in breather mode. Um, and it's very purple. They're really good about making sure to only present you exit signs the path the way out and you know that you're headed out the right door whenever you see the one that's hanging by a thread the tilted one so it's really good game design in terms of you know giving you a visual cue I'm back when you need help. so that way you can know you're headed the right way because the building looks the same as itself I recently bought on CD the um, the song or the CD that has a the theme song to this game, Metro Riots. I don't know if the rest of the CD is going to be as good as the theme song, but we'll see. Also, it's 2018 and I'm buying a CD, so I know that that's like in and of itself weird, but I'm the I'm the support physical good guy. Assistance? 
All right, next we're headed downstairs to go into the room where the valve is. I feel like I'm on mask number four, and that'll be the fifth mask. They, uh, surprisingly, for as much as they give you of this in this level, they don't really put much more emphasis on the search and rescue timed portion of the game. Like, they don't really crack down on you any harder. This is basically the only time that they make you actually operate on a timer. There's this other situation where you do a rescue, but it's not timed. So it doesn't escalate in difficulty from here, like you would think. Part of this makes me wish for a sequel, though. Or perhaps like a game that's like Super Mario Maker, but Urban Cast Right Response Maker. Wouldn't that There's be fun? There's some kind of problem with the hydraulics on the crane arm. We need to wait up till they can get it fixed. Look out! No, I'm gonna miss you! Usually they have a guy here already. See, that's impossible. There's no way for him to have gotten already. See, it's weird. They like warp the guy. It's it's okay that you have to deal with that, except for whenever you're trying to do a speed run. Whenever you're doing a speed run, you don't want him to impossibly warp a guy in place. Like that guy? How did he get over here? Did he like teleport? He didn't jump. He didn't have time because I just had my crosshairs pointed in the direction. Anyway, it's a hard game to speed run because of the random. It also, the game kind of demands a lot of you anyway. But, uh, this of course, uh, This, of course, is uh, Webster Street. Um, oh, is this Webster Street? This is Webster Street. Um, and uh, this has been Urbicast Right Response. Uh, we, of course, uh, managed to get the uh, all the medals. Um, so it does qualify for the NEN 100%. Um, so, uh, 1250 is the time. Uh, we want to thank you for having a... Uh, taking the time to uh, come and look at us. Um, please do support uh, Lars Gaming Channel. Um, please do support Brick and Mortar. Please do support Physical Goods. Uh, thank you for uh, sitting in, and uh, feel free to uh, play Urban Cast Right Response with me. Uh, it's my genuine hope that a community uh, follows me in here and proves that I'm not very good at this game. Um, so... Either that, or it would be really great if they re-released the game. So, thanks again. Hope that everybody's having a good day. Uh, take care of yourselves, and uh, have a great one.